What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and today I'm gonna to show you all how you can customize your golf bag, review my favorite archetype, and also how you can hone in your club distances and fully customize everything. I've been receiving a lot of questions on how to customize your golf bag in PGA Tour 2K23, also how to unlock new golf clubs, and what and also on what dictates certain stats in this new game it has been completely revamped i did a full overview video for my player if you want a full in-depth guide to the my player mode check that out on the channel page i also have a full gameplay tutorial playlist down in the description i have a full guide on how to improve putting tutorials and so much more coming on all aspects on the game but today heading into the golf bag get some enjoyment drop a like subscribe if you want to see more and be ready for plenty more content for PGA Tour 2K23. But here we go. Uh, to, if you all don't know this, most of you probably already know how to find your clubs. But to find your clubs, you're going to go to the My Player menu. Uh, the same place you go to to change your clothes, buy new clothes, customize your caddy, and look at the clubhouse pass. But actually edit your golf bag and see all the clubs in your bag. You're actually going to go to the locker. And inside the locker, there's a couple different ways you can view your clubs. So this is the full overview of my current golf bag. You know, you all can look, you all can see the, the bag that I'm specifically doing, and I will show you my distances as well. But you can hit the Y button on Xbox controller or triangle button on PlayStation. You can view your whole golf bag. It shows each club you have in your bag. It shows your club distances there to the right. It also shows all the club fittings that you have on your clubs. And I will I will go through that in this video a little bit as well, club fittings, but it, that all everything you need to know about the club fitting is in that full My Player guide, uh, going over more on the club fittings, but I'll touch on it in this video because the club fittings actually you can use to modify your clubs. So your clubs can be fully customized, not only their appearance and brand, but also their fits. You can play the game, unlock club parts, and apply different head, shaft, and grips to each club in your bag to change your stats. And so now as we take a look at this, you can edit the clubs from this section. So for example, let's say, okay, distance between three wood and three hybrid is ab about 20 yards, right? And say I wanted a little bit less distance between the three wood and three hybrid. I can click on the three wood and I can hit change. So this is actually where you take clubs out of your bag and put clubs in. I could switch to the four wood. I could switch to the three wood. You can see all the clubs that you don't have in your bag. You can customize this fully. You can take out your nine iron, which is what I did because I like my gap between my eight iron and my pitching wedge. So what you all are wondering, my club distances might look different than you. And a lot of that is because your primary archetype dictates your clubs and your distance, your overall base attributes. And then on top of that, your club fittings change it as well. So my distances will look a little bit different to, than you all and will change completely if I change my archetype as well. I am using the rhythm archetype, which is my favorite archetype in the game for now. I love the tempo forgiveness. It has good putting and I just really like it. So I'm running the rhythm archetype and I, I will show that. So as we go to the golfer tab here and switch right trigger to archetype, I'm using the rhythm one. Uh, I'm specking what I'm working on club fitting wise. I'm specking into power, transition, shot shaping, and lie range with club fittings. So that's what I'm working on. I did experience a glitch to where my club fittings were only applying for one round and I lost a lot of club fittings as well with an experience glitch. So if you, you some of you are, you're in the same boat, they fixed that by now, they, they have fixed it, and uh, which is good. So hopefully it doesn't happen to anybody else again. It doesn't happen to me again. But as we go back to the locker, the big change from 2K21. Remember in 2K21, if you never played it, you know, you, you won't know, but your club brands dictated the distances. That is no longer, just like I talked about, your archetype dictates it, but you're, you can change the club brand of each and every club in your bag. You can, you can have three different woods from different brands. You can have three different, you can have different hybrids and different irons and wedges. It's really cool. So what you do, you hit A on it and you go to appearance. 
Once you're in appearance, you can change to whatever club you want. This does not affect the stats. This only affects the appearance, and it also affects the sound. All the clubs in the game have a different sound, which is really awesome when you hit a perfect perfect. And then we have shaft customization, different colors, and also grip customization. Keep in mind, this is no stats. This is only changing the appearance and sound of the clubs. And you can, you can hit LB and RB to move across to the different clubs and equip the irons and wedges that you want. So you can customize each club. So I just did something that you're going to do a lot. You're going to hit B. It's really frustrating that when you hit B. So if I hit A and then hit A in appearance, if I hit B, it takes me out. You have to actually hit left trigger and then it takes you back to where you were. So it's kind of a, an annoying way to do it, but that's how it is right now. So you can do that with each and every club. I can, if I wanted this to not be a Ben Hogan, I can change the appearance. You can have a full different, you can have every club in your bag a different brand as long as you had that many. And another thing you can do and customize your ball appearance as well. So golf ball appearance is customizable. And also golf ball stats is something in the game as well. I touched on that in that my player video. You can change your ball type. You can actually buy these with, with virtual currency. You cannot buy club parts with virtual currency. Uh, so we'll get onto fittings here in a little bit, but I've received a lot of questions on where do you find, how do you unlock the new brands and different clubs in the game? So there's a few, there's one way you can see all of them. You can go to collection and you can see all the different clubs you have. So you can go LB, RB to go to collection, but also you can buy them. So you can use your in-game currency that you earn by playing and you can buy them. So they right now in the pro shop, in the my player section, there is a featured section where you can buy bundles and you can also get a free putter. But I don't know when you, depending on when you're watching this, it might not be free anymore, but this Mizuno putter is free for now. There's weekly items and daily items. I've never seen clubs in the weekly or daily items yet. So I don't know if those are only cosmetics, but you can hit the right trigger button in the store. And this is where you can buy all the different brands in the game. So you can buy the brands with your virtual currency, whatever you want. You can use LB and RB to move between the different club types. You can see there's there's a lot of different brands in this game. And also you can unlock more brands by playing through the career mode and completing sponsorship awards. So completing your sponsorship tiers, there's 14 sponsors in the career mode, nine tiers for each sponsor. And as you level up, you unlock clubs, clothes, uh, golf ball fits, club fits, and to improve your player, but also a lot of cosmetic irons. So you unlock a lot of the different band brands in career mode, or you can just come here and buy some of the ones. You can buy golf balls as well. So there's a lot of different customization and stuff in this game inherently. Now, I did an overview of the clubhouse pass, and I know I'm gonna get that question in a comment, so I might as well talk about it. Yes, some of the some of the outfits and clubs are locked behind the clubhouse pass. You can and I talked about this. I talked about my frustrations with the clubhouse pass. I have a full video on that and you can check that out. But you cannot buy the clubhouse pass with virtual currency. You have to spend real money to buy the clubhouse pass and you get cosmetic items and which includes different clubs. Now in the, there is a free tier, but in the free tier, you only get club fittings and ball fittings. You do not get any cosmetics or golf clubs, unfortunately. So I, I'm not sure why that is, uh, but there you have it. I have a full video. I won't talk about that in this because uh, I have a full video going over that, a full overview of the clubhouse pass. So check that out on the channel page. But for now, let's move on to fittings. This is what I, lo I love the new system on this game. You can fully customize your each club in the game. I talk, I go fully into this in that my player overview video, but we're going to talk about it here as well. In this game, when you click on each club, you can go to the fit section in the fit section. This is where you can you earn club parts as you play this game. Each time you level up, sometimes you get random drops after a round of golf or an online match. Anytime you play this game, you can get a random drop, which can include a club part or a golf ball. Uh, you also get these from completing the sponsors and taking down rivals in career mode. 
So you can apply these to your clubs. So for example, uh, let's take a look at, I don't, if for a driver, I don't have a header grip. I used to have tons more. So I talked about the glitch that I had. So I'm, I'm still working to get everything back. Uh, but let's take a look at the three wood and look, take a look at the fits here. And I'm gonna hide my face here just so you can see the different stats. So in this game, each different club part has different a different primary attribute that it boosts. So you have transition, power, swing path, all the different stats in this game. So for example, we take a look at this wood, uh, this wood grip. So there are different varieties of each fitting. There is gray is common, green is, or gray is uncommon, green is common, blue is rare, purple, purple is epic, orange is legendary. As they move up, they give more stat boost. And so if, if I applied this gray fit, you can see in the middle of the screen there, it would increase power by 12. It doesn't change timing. It increases swing path by four. Transition is decreased by two. Shot shaping by one, lie range by one. So if I apply this though, I have to spend in-game currency. And the more rare the club part, the more expensive it is. It gets really expensive. You can see my virtual currency at 4,000 is it's tough to come by and you have to spend it a lot in this game. So as we take a look at this, if I wanted to fit this on my club, I would hit A on it. It's already actually on my club right now, the grip. But let, let's see if we can find one. I showed this in my other video. Let's see if we can find a fit for an iron just to apply it, just to show you off for demonstration. So we have the shaft. So if I wanted to add this, I would hit A. It shows up on the right side of the screen here. And then I would hit the X button on Xbox controller, square button on PlayStation to apply it. And then it's going to pop up this menu. You can either apply it, you can click on every club in your golf bag. So if it has a little bag icon next to the name of the club, that means it's in your bag. So if I wanted to apply this to every single iron in my bag, yes, a pitching wedge is an iron, in this, it, it, at least for this game's purposes. So a pitching wedge, you will actually... Uh, you can do it all from here but you can see how expensive it is so it's expensive because you have to re so i already have something on this club right so if i wanted to apply it to just the one club it's only going to cost me 115 right uh the reason it's 115 you all are like wait what it's because i already have something fitting to that so you basically refit each time you add one that's why it adds up so that's why it's best to wait and try to find the right ones and then spec into it all at once. So if I was to hit X to purchase here, it pops up this and I would hit A to purchase it. I'm not gonna do that. I don't want that one on my club right now, uh, but that, that is actually how you do it. And you can actually exchange them as well. You can click on the fit for an iron here. I gotta, let's find one that actually, let's, I know I have a fit on the driver. So let's take a look here. And let's actually go over and take it off. I could take it off. Take It's not going to get rid of the fit. Fits last forever. There is a glitch where they only last one round and you have to keep reapplying them. I experience, I'm actually having that glitch on Xbox right now. But hopefully it's fixed soon and hopefully you all never experience that. But you can actually exchange them. So you can switch. You can change. You can do whatever you want with these. But that's that is the club fittings that is how you can customize each and every club in your bag you can apply them all to the same you can maybe maybe seven iron you want to focus on transition which is distance control or swing path but maybe for your driver you don't really care you just want a full send and go maxed out in power you don't care about anything else and like it is i love it because there's so many different options that you can go through i will be doing a video once i get my full bag loaded out and my favorite loadout i just wanted to show you all the overview and how to do everything i just i just wanted to show you that and in the future i will be doing a full video going over everything specifically on my favorite bag on what the best loadouts are and then last thing I wanted to show you all is exchanges. So you can only hold up to a hundred club fittings. So you can actually exchange them or upgrade them. So for example, let's say I have three legendaries, right? So let's click on this legendary putt path. I showed this in my other video and I'm gonna click 
exchange. You can deconstruct them. I would not recommend that unless they're just the uncommon ones. Uh, but the best thing, you know, if you don't need them, save up space, right? But go to exchange and it's going to pop up this menu. You can exchange three of a certain variety. So say I want to exchange these three. I can exchange these. If I hit X to the right, it's going to pop up. I get to pick specifically what I want. What club do I want? What component do I want? And what primary attribute do I want? You can do this with all of them. But what you can also do, so that's exchange. You can also upgrade. For example, if I go back here and switch to Epic. So let's click on the Epic. So we have the purple ones here. I'm going to select three. And then to the right to the screen, do you see this icon here? I'll, I'll put my cursor over it right here where it says Y. If I hit Y button on the controller, it's gonna upgrade. I can actually upgrade my Epic fittings into a legendary of a random variety. So you can start farming Epics, turning, them, turning three to one legendary, and then farming legendaries and exchanging and exchange legendaries until you get the right club fits and everything that you want. So there is a lot of customization you can do. There are millions of combination because each of these club fittings, even though they may look the same, lie range, power, there's subtle dis differences. Even look at, so we have two swing paths, right? This one, you see how it changes transition, minus two. 9 to swing path, 6 to shaping, plus 7 power. But look at this one. It decreases timing, but increases everything else. You can customize this however, or I went to this one. I went to the wrong one. I meant this one right here. So this swing path one, it, it only gives boost, no minuses. This swing path gives minuses. This power one decreases timing, but increases everything else. There are tons of different combinations, and I'm going to go deep dive into these. That video may already be live by the time you're watching this. So stay tuned to the channel and, and, and check the channel page. Check the full gameplay tutorial playlist in the description. But everyone, that is how you customize your bag, customize your distances. So if you don't like the distances the game gives you, you can either change your club fittings or apply different club, club fittings to decrease power or change your archetype. Your primary archetype is what dictates your base, your how far you hit each club, right? But thank you all so much for watching this video to the end. You all are all legends. You can check out the full playlist if you're looking for other gameplay tutorials. I recommend you check out my full My Player Guide because I go through a lot more into these. And also, I have a full gameplay tutorial, a beginner's guide to how to improve your skills in this game. Much more coming. I will see you in the next one. Drop a like if you got some enjoyment. Subscribe for more. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.